Denver has voted to increase sales taxes again, as it did in 2018 for mental health resources. And this year, the new tax hike is to fund services for the homeless. Now, collecting a pile of money is one thing. Spending it efficiently is another. Arunusha Roy asked the mayor how they intend to do that. Denver voters keep saying yes, they will pay more sales tax to help those in their community, most recently showing support for ballot measure 2B to set aside millions for those experiencing homelessness. We're going to be able to provide up to 1,800 uh, supportive housing units for our neighbors are experiencing homelessness uh, over the next 10 years. We're going to be able to connect them to services. But one of the concerns is about if the city is using their money in the best way possible. This year, another tax funded initiative called Caring for Denver to support mental health and substance misuse programs was audited. The auditor wrote as of May 31st, 2020, the foundation had accumulated almost $41.5 million in unspent tax revenue. The release said up until that point, the foundation had given a few million in grants and that better strategic planning and oversight were needed. In response, Representative Leslie Harrod, who championed the foundation, said they did not start getting the money until September of 2019 and were building a foundation ground up and doing their due diligence. We had to do what the ordinance said to do, which was to engage the community to determine what our funding priorities were. We met with over 1,600 Denverites. Since the end of May, the foundation says it's either given or is in the process of granting another roughly $20 million. We bring this up because the two initiatives are funded in similar ways. Denver voters saying yes to a sales tax increase, but the mayor said there's a difference to keep in mind. They'll develop what their program would look like, identify how they might operate. Uh, that is not what these tax dollars will have to wait for uh, going forward with regards to 2B. Essentially, the mayor is saying there are infrastructure and programs already in place to address homelessness, and that's the kind of thing 2B money will be used for. So the mayor is talking about adding and expanding and improving resources and, and the results we're talking about, those are not official yet, but we are seeing a lot of Denver voters not only support 2B, but they're also showing a lot of support for 2A. So that's a similar sales tax, but the money would be going towards programs working to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. And based off of that, the auditor is saying both of those measures already on his radar. Kyle, he's saying that once those taxes are collected, expected to be audited sooner rather than later, see how efficiently the program is working, which is something that he's done several times with tax increases. So with these tax increases, the public's always told if you raise taxes this much, it's going to bring in X amount in sales taxes, which we can spend. But we also know that, that due to the pandemic's effect on the economy, that tax revenues have been sad trombone this year. Yeah, so if you look specifically at 2B, right, what you saw in your ballot was talking about bringing in $40 million a year. The mayor has acknowledged in the beginning that number could be lower, like you were talking about, Kyle, right? We're in a pandemic. This is reliant on sales tax. People have lost their jobs. They're spending less. But the mayor says that in the long run, he is hoping that that full amount that was discussed will ultimately be brought into the city. All right, Anusha Roy, thank you.